Toby, I'm 29 years old and I live in New Orleans, Louisiana. Damn, only two beers left. I love living in New Orleans. The vibe's great. There's always stuff going on 24 hours a day. People describe me as probably a little crazy, probably party too much. It just never stops. All right, time to go. When I was a kid, I couldn't wait to move to a big city like New Orleans because I grew up on the bayou in a small town called La Rose, Louisiana. It's uh, basically swamp and marshland. We can take this crab trap right here? Yeah. The Cajun culture is definitely important to me. And you know, this is what I grew up my whole life. Oh, there's some big ones. We do a lot of hunting and fishing. Basically, it's all about family and food. We'll hang out on our back deck, we'll have drinks, we'll cook food, and anything goes, basically. Oh, got a catfish. When I was a kid, I spent my summers on shrimp boats, and now I work in underwater robotics. I guess it's being on a boat's just in my blood. So we go down, we do maintenance on pipelines and everything for oil production. I actually love my job. You know, we do a lot of cool stuff. We see all kind of animals. But my favorite thing about my job is the travel. I've been to about 25 countries just for work. When I get to that country, I'll stay on the boat the whole time for 28 days straight. I work four weeks on, four weeks off, so with my time off, I would just basically pick a country to go to and go spend my four weeks there. Growing up, I always dreamed of exploring, so it's been great. It opened up my eyes, and I've just become more understanding of the rest of the world. A lot of times, I would go alone, so I downloaded a travel app to start to meet people, and one day, I met a girl named Yara. She's 25 years old from Kiev, Ukraine. Yara's a very beautiful girl. She turns heads when she walks in the street. So we started talking like quite a bit and realized we like a lot of the same things. We both like beaches, we both like to scuba dive, we both like to travel. So next time off, I decided I was gonna meet this girl in Budapest. <laughs> I had zero expectations going to meet her for the first time. I was definitely not looking at this as I was meeting my future wife. I was thinking I was having a two-day fling with a Ukrainian woman in Budapest. The first night was really awkward. I didn't know what to say to her. She didn't know what to say to me. We come from two completely different cultures. After a couple glasses of wine, next thing you know, we hooked up, had really good sex. Um, things got better from that point, of course. Yara is currently doing makeup in Kiev to like pay her bills. <laughs>